Hey guys, it's X Dragon Force 101 here with a review of the MIUI Custom ROM. Now, previously MIUI was only available in Chinese, but a kid called Super Kid um, he ported it to the HTC Desire S over here, and he also translated it into English and Portuguese. So first of all, we're just going to turn it on. It does have a pretty nice boot animation. So first of all, you just got your normal HTC screen. And that is default on most ROMs. You can't really get past that. So I just reposition the camera there. In a few seconds, it should go straight to the MIUI custom ROM screen. Here we go. It's like a moon with MIUI United Worldwide on it. Only takes a couple of seconds to load up quite fast. There you go. Just took the shiver there to turn on. we go. Now MIUI is based on iOS which is the iPhone operating system. It's more of a theme but it's okay. So just the lock screen, slide to unlock and you've got a sort of app base like iOS. You can have a, um, up to six icons in the launcher at the bottom. It's got a Google Chrome like browser with like um, tabs and you can browse to, like Facebook, Twitter and um, things like that. Um, it is running, the Android version of this, rather than 2.3.3, is 2.3.5, which is not the newest one at the moment. It's, um, 2.3.7 is the newest one, but Android version 2.3.5, oh, can I show you that there? Ta da there we go. Slightly awkward, but 2.3.5. Okay, um, it comes with a built-in updater tool, so you do not have to use ROM Manager. Um, I have found that on the HTC Desire S, um, in ROM Manager, go in here a second, Clockwork Mod 5.0.2.0 is not very good for processing custom ROM scripts, so it's very bad for installing updates from the SD card and updating um, wirelessly. So what you have to do is really, if you want to um, get stuff installed, all Clockwork Mod recoveries and choose 3.0.2.6 and hit OK when you're updating or installing something. It comes with a built-in themes um, applier, so I've just got the default theme, but you can get online themes. Um, so let's just try the neon theme for example. I know you have to hit download. And also it's downloading at the top. Themes aren't usually that big, but they do take a while to download. Because they're on I a hope server, one percent, two percent. We can check back on that later. So um it comes pre installed with a very old version of Super User. I haven't tried to update it yet. I'll need to check that out first. But um, if you want, to, you can just go into ROM Manager and download the newest Super User 3.0 beta. It's pretty good. I'm just checking here. Yep, Super User. Okay, and just a word of warning for people. When you're going into ROM Manager to download MIUI.us, there's two ROMs that have just shown up this week. MIUI... Um, Android and MIUI PT. Don't download either of them. You want to download MIUI.us. These two at the bottom here are very, very, very fake um, versions of MIUI. They've just been compiled from source exactly the same and they've got no support, no updates, no website, no nothing. Don't download them. Okay, so um, when you download MIUI, it comes with the option of installing the Google Apps package. Now, Google Apps is like Maps, Latitude, Places, Google Talk, Google Email. Lots of stuff. It comes pre-installed with stuff like Twitter and Facebook. It's got its own, it's got its own downloads app. Just shows you that's downloading my neon thing. Um, yeah, it's got a brilliant music player built in. Now, um, I've got quite a few songs. Um, the music quality is, is brilliant. I found it a lot better than the SAG LBC, just from coming from this little speaker at the top. Um, so that's quite an improvement. It comes built in with a file explorer just to find everything and it's a lot more detailed. It's got all your space and what's being used. Space on your SD card and space on your read-only memory as well. And it even has support for FTP if you can start the service. Then go on your computer to this address. Oops, sorry, you can't see that. Um, go on the computer to this address. Okay, um, like um, iOS, you hold down icons to delete them. And you just go and uninstall them. But if it's a system app, you can't uninstall it. And it just uninstalls it really quickly like that. If you want to create new pages, all you do is hold down on the screen anywhere. And it goes into an edit mode. You just scroll along, hit add. And then you can add, and add in things. Like there's a Google search. And then full page contacts. And stuff like that.
Just drag it out. Doesn't even need that. Okay. And that's really about it for MIUI US. Oh, wait, no, sorry. It comes built in with a backup system. So you can back up locally to your SD card and you can back up to the cloud. Um, what else have we got? Hmm. Yep, and that's really about it for this, apart from, oh, one last thing, D&D &D mode, which is secure um, calling mode for um, numbers. So if someone calls you and you don't want them to call you, D&D &D mode blocks their calls. SMS will also block the calls and they'll be listed in this app. Blacklist is the stuff that will not be allowed through your inbox, it'll just be sent here. And the whitelist is numbers that are allowed that are in the blacklist. Um, yep. Yeah. Um, so, um, just a couple of recommended apps, um, Titanium Backup, before flashing a new ROM, Titanium Backup is a must. You mu you have to get Titanium Backup and click, um, um, Backup User Apps. You don't want to back up your system app because they're not necessary when you're flashing a new ROM. Um, and you'll also want to get Ad Free. Now, Ad Free is a brilliant, brilliant app because it's like an ad blocker. What it does is it edits the host file and blocks the addresses to different ads, different ad websites, so they don't show up. It's like... Um, and a last must-have app, BusyBox Installer. If you're using Terminal a lot and you want to get um, um slightly better things, you want slightly better commands, but rather than just the built-in commands to the Android Linux kernel, which are terrible, just get BusyBox, hit OK, hit OK, close the warning, and hit Install. And then it should take more than a couple of seconds, and then it's done. Um, yep, and that is about it for this ROM. If you'd like to check it out, I've got a link in the description to the XDA developers. Or you can just go into ROM Manager, download the ROM, MIUS, US1. Oh, MIUS, US1, and download it. So guys, thank you for watching my video. That was X Dragon Force 101 with um, MIUI US Custom ROM. Thanks for watching.